more of a trick than a treat. I think it's a treat. A trick. A trick. A lot of people dressing up, um, going around and getting candy. Get candy and people have fun. I always think of like witches and like satanic things and I don't know, cats getting boiled up. I don't like Halloween. I know I didn't come out of good origin. Is this something about like Satan or witchcraft or something? My mom always talked about it in like the like uh, spiritual warfare kind of sense. Um, it probably came from some pagan origin. Halloween is one of the most controversial uh, holidays. It did have its origins in uh, pre-Christian Celtic culture. Kids would go around uh, either with mask on or just go in the middle of the night and they would turn over the outhouses of, um, of people who were stingy or selfish. It was a time of uh, kind of role reversals. Um, you could you could kind of become something that you were not. It was uh, it was an occasion to uh, be a little bit naughty or to uh, defy social norms. Druidic priests would become very very active during this time. It was a time when they would. Uh, engage in sacrifices and offerings to the spirits to get them to leave the community alone. It was a time when they would build huge bonfires at night and uh, drive the spirits away from the village. On Halloween night, they would uh, put together a jack-o'-lantern. The jack-o'-lantern is nothing more than a pumpkin carved out, some holes were poked into it, and candles put into it, and you can use that to carry around uh, when you go from house to house as a lantern. Now they would carve faces into the into the pumpkins, there's no question about that, uh, as a reminder that they are representing um, the spirits of the dead, the spirits of the forest. They also dressed up like ghosts and ghouls and dead things to remind people, look, we're the ones that are protecting you from it. And they would then say, uh, you know, give us a gift of food to help us through the winter. The Roman Catholic Church tried to take control of it and turn it into uh, All Souls Day when people would pray for the souls in purgatory. A lot of other things are going to happen in all of this. Uh, Hollywood's going to get into the act. And Hollywood is going to change it quite considerably. They're going to start bringing in vampires, serial killers, um, bats, black cats, curses, uh, frightening. Spiritistic movements began to emerge in the 1960s. Um, Neo-paganism was began to emerge. They've reclaimed this holiday and uh, are turning it into their high uh, sacred night. We do get some people who become so-called Satanists. The so-called Satanists love to do sacrifices because they make them sound really, really evil. And so they engage in uh, sacrificing animals, goats, cats, dogs, whatever. Do they actually engage in human sacrifices? Once in a while. The reports of human sacrifices have been so grossly exaggerated that it's impossible to tell the truth anymore. I think we've made too big a deal out of it to say that it is Satanism. It continues to be a time of emotional release when everybody can kind of blow off and be something, you know. Kids can be pirates and they can be swashbucklers uh, or kids can scare the living daylights out of adults. 
and, when in point of fact they're really scared to death of adults. It's still a real cathartic emotional experience. Uh, it's also a chance to indulge in all the sweetness in the world. It's a holiday of an indulgence is what it is.